guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and I'm talking quietly because it's currently half ten at night. But I have literally, I was playing PS4 with Zach and I was just, me and Zach always talk about things that we think could be going better in the wrestling world. And this certain conversation came up about Saudi Arabia. And I had this idea that I think is would just work. And I want to share it with you guys because if someone could see this from WWE and put it to creative team, something could happen and this would be perfect. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how WWE can improve their Saudi Arabia shows. Let's get right into it. So this idea I have all starts with the greatest Royal Rumble pay-per-view. The 50-man Royal Rumble match. What was up for grabs? A green Saudi Arabian championship and the greatest Royal Rumble trophy. Now, who won that? Braun Strowman. Have we seen that Saudi Arabian title since? No. Has Braun Strowman had matches in Saudi Arabia since? Yes, two of them. And he didn't wear the title for either one. So that makes me think, why did a belt company go through the trouble of making a championship for WWE if they're not even going to use it on TV or on the network? So this is where I, like, that was the first initial idea. I thought, okay, they've got this championship laying around. Nothing's being done with it, but it's there. It is still there. And then I thought 50-man Royal Rumble. The championship was up for grabs for the first time. At Super Showdown, they had a 50-man Battle Royal for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's simple. My pitch to WWE is that that Saudi Arabian championship always has to be defended whenever they go to Saudi Arabia. The champion doesn't need to wear it on TV because as you all know, WWE don't really like to talk about the Saudi shows when they're not happening. So it doesn't need to be on TV. Braun hasn't carried it since, he doesn't need to. However, at the Saudi Arabian show, the champion must defend that title every single time because they're every six months in a 50 man battle royal. So in this case, Braun Strowman would have had to defend it in the Battle Royal, and we would have had a new champion. And it goes like that, and that's the best thing, is NXT guys, Raw guys, SmackDown guys, NXT UK, legends, they can all compete in this Battle Royal and go for the championship. Any one of them can win the title, because they don't need to defend it. They need to defend it once. Once. And the other inspiration I got from it was My Damn Toys. The MDT Battle Royal Championship. He has one on his channel. WWE can have the Saudi Arabian Championship. And every single time there's a Saudi show, there's always a Battle Royal. There doesn't always need to be a new champion. Braun Strowman could walk into the next Battle Royal if they was to do this and win. But there could be a new champion. And that's what keeps the Battle Royal interesting. Because Battle Royals are always a fun watch. But there's nothing up for grabs. Especially at Super Showdown. Once it ended, it's like, oh cool, that Battle Royal was fun to watch. Now on to the next match. There's no, there's nothing to come after it. Nothing. What was the point? So put that championship on the line every single time. It keeps the whole 50-man tradition that it was originally won in, in the 50-man Royal Rumble. It just puts it in a Battle Royal. Same kind of match. Over the top rope, both feet touching the floor. It's just one starts with entrances, the intervals where the other one, everyone starts in the ring. So WWE, I do hope you're watching this video. Make that green belt on the line every single Saudi show because I guarantee you it will make stuff more interesting. Flat out. You don't need to keep bringing back legends. Let Undertaker and Goldberg retire in peace now. But you can bring back some legends that can still go and can still hold their own a little bit. They don't need to win, but you know, they can just it's a battle royal. All you've got to do is throw some punches and eventually get thrown over the top rope. DDP. Hell, even people like Gangrel. Legends like that. They're the people the Prince would know. The original WWF to the Attitude Era. I mean, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I think he's still kicking around. I think he might still be doing a show here and there. Jerry Lawler. Put these guys in that Battle Royal. Because it will get you views. So, tell me what you guys think about my pitch. I literally was just sitting there talking to Zach and it came to my head. And I thought I have to share this with you guys. Because this is amazing. This could work. Like, it literally could work. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. 
share this video around. I genuinely believe that something could come of this idea and that would be absolutely awesome. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.